Yeah, that post right there, that post Crazy. is still getting comments to this day. Let's talk about it. When did that happen? Oh my God, this posted about, I want to say early last week, and it's still getting comments to this day. Like, I guess so. That's some fucked up shit right there. Let's get into it. All right, we're heading to the Black Truckers Only group on Facebook. Shout out to the Black Truckers Only group. There was a crazy post by this young trucker. He says he got fired today for trying to attend his mom's funeral. All right, so this was around either the last i'll say the last week of february okay so that gives this a ballpark when this was posted so he said he told his company in advance he says he sat almost for four days in colorado he says once i started moving the truck towards home they tried to call me with a solution he says i offered everything including paying for the fuel just to get home he says they didn't even want to buy me a plane ticket i even asked them to give me an advance out of my next paycheck that they owe me just to get me a ticket home now before i go in my rant because something like this happened to me it wasn't to the extreme of my mom's funeral but this this had happened to me so before i go into my rant about it what's your thoughts about it no more wasting time let's get it hold on well my first thought was why was he back at work anyway that was my first thought because i'm like if your mom just passed like you should still be at home with the family helping them get everything together like why are you even back at work but then my second thought was like okay maybe that was something he needed to do and um and maybe he thought he worked for the type of company that was like okay he's he's gonna work through this un unfortunate so event but we got his back so he's like okay my mom passed my family took a kid gonna come back to work until it's time for the funeral and then i'm gonna go home for the funeral and then to be hit with the i got fired for wanting to attend my mother's funeral first of all you have got to be shitting me because number one you lucky i even came out back to work right at this minute my mother just passed number two you gonna fire me for wanting to get home to the funeral and i done tried to work out every which kind of way with y'all to get me home i'm like f you and f everybody at that company too i got a lawyer for you don't worry about it i got you we'll work this out and i hope he is looking for a good lawyer because any really good lawyer will look at will see this and be like oh yeah we got you you ain't got to come in with no money. We'll get ours on the back end because, nah, this ain't how we do business. Because too many companies, especially when they think they got somebody that's uneducated and don't know much about nothing, think that they can just treat you any kind of way and you're not going to do nothing about it. But that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, what does that say about you as a company that you could give that little care about a, about your drivers that when they tell you they, they need to attend their mother's funeral, that you don't have no type of empathy to say, oh, no, we got to get this man home by any means necessary. Hook, hook. And then you're going to turn around and fire him? Oh, that whole business needs to go. Throw that whole business out the window. Shut it down. FM, FMCSA, CSA, TBI, TVA, uh, 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 whoever else is involved with the higher right, uh, the BBB. That place needs to go. That 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 place needs, that needs to be gone. Like, nobody even, like, can we even know the name of the company so we make sure we don't even try to apply or hear from them or send anybody that direction because ain't no way it's one thing if i don't want to attend the funeral and i just don't go but for you to even fire me for for trying to get home to get to my mom's funeral you so unscrupulous like 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 you should be ashamed to even show your face in public like you're the worst company ever you're worse than western express at this point 
you're just you're just dirt, you're trash. Whoever that company is, I hope your I hope your your assets burn to the ground. I hope the stock market caves in on you. I hope whoever owns that company has the worst ever thing to ever happen to them so that they can know what it feels like to have something taken away from you in the blink of an eye because nobody else gives a damn about you either. Like that's crazy. Fire that young trying to get to it. I hear drivers. I hear disgruntled drivers. I hear drivers that have problems with their companies. I hear y'all. I, I hear what y'all saying about these companies not being respectful to you. Respect goes a long way and it, it goes back and forth as well. But in a situation like this, to hear that this young man got fired for trying to attend his own mother's funeral is kind of heartbreaking. It, and this is the main reason why I keep telling you people, very poor choice of words. Drivers, I keep telling you drivers what to come out here with so that you can be prepared for any case that may come about. I tell you to pack light. No, what y'all do, y'all want to get a TV, y'all want to get a microwave, y'all want to get, y'all want to get this, y'all want to get that, y'all want to get lights, y'all want to make y'all trucks look pretty and all that other stuff. No, no, new drivers, you you don't need to do that. You need to pack light. You need to pack light. What you need to bring? Like I, I I've been telling y'all for years what to bring. I need you to bring a gold bag. I need you to bring your backpack, and I need you to bring your hygiene bag. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. I also need you to bring a credit card because you can get a credit card. I've been saying that. I, listen, y'all y'all know I've been telling y'all that y'all can get a credit card these days. They're giving away credit cards. Yes. You can get a $300 credit card at any bad credit card company. At least get that because you're going to need a credit card when you go and rent that car because a lot of these companies... It, it probably changed by now, but I don't know. But a lot when I was trying to rent a car, they needed a credit card. They didn't want to do a debit card. So that's why I say you need to have a credit card. You got to have a credit card. And that, that's my opinion. Yeah. That I needed a credit card in order to rent yeah. when I was in a predicament. Also, bring yeah. cash. Have yeah. at least, I, I say on the low end, probably about $300 that you can just easily get to. And on a high end, at least 500. Now, a lot of you new drivers listen that you guys coming into the industry. And y'all broke. I understand that. But maybe a couple of checks that y'all get, a couple of settlements that y'all get, save out a couple of hundred dollars so that y'all can have that, have that money for any case. That's what I tell y'all. So when a situation like this arrives and you ask the company, because that's what we do. We're going to, hey, boss, I need to get home for whatever reason. And if that boss man comes at you with some residual, then you could tell that boss man, hey, dude, bro, where you want me to park this truck? Because I got to go. I got to go. This is a family emergency. And if I tell you that I'm willing to pay for the fuel, come on. That should be a that should be an instant okay, like, Oh, okay. Well, if you're willing to pay for the fuel, then we'll just take it out your yeah, and we'll take it out your paycheck. We're good to go. Go ahead, get down there, be with your folks, be with your family, and then just let us know afterwards yeah. when you coming back out. Because right. because just like you said, I was willing to come back in to work just to get this off my mind until the funeral. You turn around and tell me I can't get to my funeral and when i make my way down there or try to get down there you fire me worst company ever they should be put on a fire line and whoever owns that company should be ashamed and, and whoever deals with him should blackball him out of this industry because that's ridiculous like who does that to a to a person oh well, you didn't get to know where it was supposed to be, so yeah, you you want to go to a funeral, so we we got to fire you, homie, because we got to take care of our customers. Like, nah, mm -mm. I wish you would have gave the name of that company. They need to be put on Front Street. Everybody in that place need to walk out, walk out, because whether it's in trucking or somewhere else, there are there are more jobs today than ever before. Someone just told me this. 
So you can go find you another job, but you got to get the hell up out of that place. Because guess what? It's not you today, but it could be you tomorrow. And just like they treated that that driver the way that they did, what makes you think they're going to treat you any better? I mean, unless maybe if you're in the C-suite, but if you ain't in the C-suite, you a peon too. I don't care if you're a supervisor, a manager. I don't care what your role is. You should be ashamed to even be working for that type of company. So a situation like that happened to me back in the day. Hold on. I needed to be somewhere. I needed to be somewhere that following Monday. And I have let it, my fleet manager know that that weekend I needed to be home that Monday. So right. shout out to the, to the fleet manager. It wasn't it wasn't the fleet manager. It was everything that was over over the weekend that made me decide to do what I did. So right. my fleet manager was already already known that I had a situation that I needed to take care of Monday and I was okay. leaving Friday. So right. the truck that I had Friday started to act up. It was it, it it was acting up. I get on the I get on the highway and everything was blank. Like when I got down to to the eighty going into the turnpike, everything on the dashboard just just blank. It was nothing, nothing. The truck was still on, but I I had nothing on the on the dashboard. So I right. pull over to the over to the TA or the it was no it's it's that flying J, but I don't know if they had a, what's your name or not. But I called whatever it was. Yeah, I called and I said, hey, I need to bring the truck and I need to get a get a loaner truck so that I could get home. Well, what's the matter with the truck? Hey, I I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. All I could just tell you that my digital display ain't working. Nothing ain't working. The truck's still running. But I just want to make sure I, I don't want to get on a highway and all of a sudden it just goes out and I'm not able to get home. All right, cool. Bring it back. Bring it back to the shop. We'll see what we can do. I get back to the shop. Shop says, okay, well, we're going to need to keep the truck for a while because there's something going on with it. Hey, no problem. Let me let me get a loaner truck. Well, the guy to give out the loaner truck is not here today. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you what you talking about, Okay. No, nobody can can give me a loaner truck. No, but what we can do, we can get you a hotel and no, 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 bro. No, that's a no-go. I need to be home Monday. When when is he coming back? Oh, he'll be back on Monday. No, no, no. I need to be home on Monday. Well, what time you need? I need to be home Monday, meaning that I need to be home early Monday to do what I need to do. And it's very important. I said, it's very important. My fleet manager knows about it. He got got me the OK. He knows that that I'm not coming back until Tuesday. Is there anybody, anybody here or can you call him to get authorization to give me a loaner truck? Y'all got Y'all got plenty of trucks out in the parking lot that I can drive. Today's Friday. Y'all y'all can't get me a loaner truck. I still got a load that's going with me that's delivering. What's up? But they don't want the load to go? Right. So we going back and forth. We going back and forth. That no nothing no go at the shop. I says, okay. So I called the weekend dispatchers and I get and I tell them my situation. I say, hey, my fleet manager know that I need to be home on Monday. And I, I need to get home, bro. I need to get home. I, I, I said, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. I need to be home. I said, they won't give me authorization for a loaner truck. So I need you guys to see if y'all can get me a rental car because I'm in Ohio. Okay, well, well, we'll see what we can do. All right, we're going back and forth. But something told me to get on the job. And that's exactly what I did. I got on the job. I started looking for looking for rental cars. And this is this is during the time where they was being funky with the rental cars. They was only doing one way rentals, not one way rentals. They was doing like, round trip. Well, one way they wasn't doing round trip. No, not round trip. I'm sorry. One way they wasn't doing one way. Like you pick up the car in Illinois and drop it off right. in Ohio. They wasn't doing that. They want me to turn around and bring it back to Illinois. That wasn't going to happen. Right. So right. I finally found the place and I went on here and put in my reservations, told them I needed today. I gave them a time frame and all like that. They got everything ready for me. I had to pay a $50 Uber over to the airport because that's where I had to pick up the car. Okay. I got everything set. I called them back 
and say, hey, I, it's been a minute. I haven't heard nothing from y'all. What's going on? Well, fortunately, we can't authorize the rental because it's too many miles. I said, look, bro, just authorize the rental and I'll I'll, I'll take care of the rest. Unfortunately, we can't do nothing. We, we're we ready to stand still right now. You know, I'm going to tell you that much? No, nah, they, no. Nah, sure, no, nah, sure didn't. So I said, you mean to tell me I'm I'm stuck here? Well, no, we're we going to put you in a hotel. And bro, I don't, I don't need to be in a hotel, my guy. I need to be on my way home so I can take care of my business on Monday. What the, what the hell, man? So, hey, what don't you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? So, so long story short, man, I I I I, I packed up everything because again, I come light. You know what I'm saying? I come yeah. light. I even took a picture. I I took a picture, popped it up on my Instagram, and I told the people, "This is what you do in situations." So, I I called them up and I said, "Hey, where do you want the keys?" And they was like, "Well, what do you mean?" What do you mean we want the keys? Yeah. Do you want me to leave the keys in the truck or do you want me to leave the keys in the in the drop box at the shop? Where, where, where would you like? Uh, what do you mean? What, what do you mean lockout? No, I'm I'm gone, bro. I got to go. I ain't got time. Y'all BS in number one. Number two, y'all wasting my time. I'm, I'm out. Uh, can you give us a minute? No, I gave y'all too many minutes as it is. So you got you got two minutes to make up your mind and if you don't i'm going to just leave it in the drop box and yeah that was it got my rental yeah. hopped in the car and went home i got home i did what i needed to do on monday they called me monday evening my fleet manager and again nothing against him because he, he called me up he was like man i'm sorry i heard what happened over the, over the weekend and i'm sorry that that was going on with you and everything but i'm just kind of wondering when are you still coming are you still coming back on tuesday because we got a new truck for you i, I said i got some vacation time and i got some pto time consider me on vacation right now and he was about to say well you didn't put in you didn't put in for your vet yeah he was about to say that but then he turned around and said what go ahead and take as long as you need lockout and i said yeah that's okay. exactly what i'm going to do that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take as long as I need because I I, I felt that that was wrong. That was wrong. Yeah. I and again, no nothing against my fleet manager, but when you look at it as a whole, you needed to be somewhere, and and the company is refusing to help you get there. Then it's time to, to start thinking about what what else. It goes like that. Right. Right. Because this is the company for me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. so again, sh shout out to this young man. Hopefully, he made it to his mom's funeral. The, my condolences goes out to him and everything. But I seen in the comment session, there's some people that don't believe. Some people think that this is cap. I I don't believe it as such. I believe this young man. But why would you think that this is cap? I understand that a lot of people come on social media just posting so they can just get the reaction so they can get the views so they can get the likes but that that's pushing it how naive are people that that's how you would think about something like that like what's wrong in your in your psychological makeup that will have you to look at a, or, or or take a situation like this like, oh, they just trying to get they just trying to get uh uh, people to, to respond. They just trying to get likes. They just trying to get a reaction. Like, people pray about a lot of things. They don't pray about their mama. Maybe you pray about your, most people don't pray about theirs. And this is coming from somebody who didn't have a very close relationship with their mama. But I still am not going to back and tell you I'm going to use my mother's, anything about my mother's situation, dead or alive, to manipulate an outcome for me. Like, what kind of but then again, you got these people out here, oh, it ain't true, it ain't true, until it happens to you. Then all of a sudden, oh my God, I can't believe they did this. How could they do this? Because some people don't believe uh, sugar, honey, iced tea don't taste like sweet tea until you put it in their mouth. do believe that these probably might be the same. No, I just think it's a troll. It's a troll. It's a troll out here that... That has nothing better to do with their time but to be on people's um, uh, a message board trying to check out conversations and what's happening in other people's lives and then making light of it.
you have people like that out here in the world. They ain't got nothing else to do but be on timeline, faking, faking, faking profile so that they could be out here mingling with people that they know nothing about, talking about subject matters they know nothing about, just because they bored and ain't got nothing else to do in their own life. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.